And we've got our nice lights. I know. Here. The up lights. So we... <laughs> I think it was okay. Who was complaining about not being able to see our faces? Oh, uh, probably my father-in-law. Okay. Okay. He gives me grief so about went... the sound, about the production <sighs> quality. Like, I He's apologize. like, your hat is too dark under your hat. He's like, yeah. I was like, dude, you can come over there. He said we can't be... Um, Smoking cigars when he comes over there. Oh yeah, that's right. You can't He's do that. Hyper sensitive. And then so. uh, we also <clears throat> got these from a fan. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're a little late on bringing this up, but during the summer, before Ooh. we had to take a hiatus, my word, we talked about the heat a lot. You guys talk about it, and um, somebody very sweet and very loving. Sent us some <laughs> temperature modification devices. And tonight, well, tonight is the vice presidential debate, and we thought that this was kind of fitting. I don't know why, but because uh, getting hot like, in here, yeah. And we wanted to dress up for the occasion, yeah. And we wanted to represent <laughs> that part of the other America where we like, I do declare, I do. Well, those are not allowed to say that. I declare. Well, I. Yeah. I do declare. I guess it kind of is in solidarity with Asheville, maybe, if you're going to go with that society. Well. And what's happened. That's not quite what I meant, but it's okay. <laughs> not what I meant. So, thank you to uh, to our fan. In Houston, Bakenda. We'll for the Bakenda. For the fans. And uh, to our other critiquing fan who has an eye for excellence. Yeah. Thank you for the up lights. Forced me to bring the um bring in some equipment. Yeah. Yeah. So interesting story where I got these though mm -hmm. is from a conference that I went to for the software that I work on. Right? Um it's, it was one of their swag thingies. You go to the booth and they're like, oh, oh yeah. Put your name in here so we can email you stuff. And then this was the deal. And I was I didn't even know what it was at first. And they were like, oh, it's a ring light for your camera. And I was like, I definitely need. <laughs> I need I, that. I need two of them. That's why I have two of them. I'm big. I'm like, I have a big head, man. I'm going to need to light it from both sides. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I snagged two of them. And I thought about giving them to the kids when I got home. But then I was just like, I don't know, man. And there's just, I feel like I need to hold on to them. So I did. Mm -hmm. And now I'm that able works. to use them as part of my production value. I'm, nice. I'm providing production value. You're adding to uh, the quality of what we produce. Very right. nice. Very nice. To this point, I've just been like a like a fish swimming under your belly, catching the little food. I don't know about as that. You I, eat. As I eat the food that you bring yeah. me. <laughs> <laughs> Irony. <laughs> Isn't this one of those 4D shapes that flips on itself it's and never stops? It's constantly going. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You bring me the food that I eat and you eat the crumbs I, and yeah. then bring, yeah. <laughs> You're that's, always like, dude, what terrible. are you doing? I also, uh, in addition to not wanting to portray that I am a big fish and you're just following me around, my wife has commented on the height difference in our chairs. I told her it's just because I've got a long torso, which right. I do have a long torso. I lowered and you're this about thing. five inches taller than I am. I, I'm taller, but yeah. she goes, it just looks like <laughs> you're towering over him, and he's just this little sidekick. And I was like, that is not at all what it is. Yeah. So I, I lowered my chair. But I am a sidekick, and like Batman and Robin, and Robin became like Nightwing. Yeah. Who is a awesome. his own. Yeah. Right? So, yeah. you know. <laughs> that, 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 this bad. awesome. <laughs> you can't say awesome. <laughs> no. Not for my kids to watch. Oh, awesome. <clears throat> I mean, they watch me eat smoke cigars, but we don't say awesome. <laughs> beep thing. Huh? I mean, I, I, I can I can thing? mute it out. I can mute it out. Can you just make it not make any sound? Yeah. Okay. He's a bad. That's what we'll hear. So here, I'm just gonna say awesome. Now you can snip it that out. And you can take it back. In he's a the, bad awesome. No, just say he's a <laughs> he's awesome. awesome. <laughs> like but make it sound disconjointed. That's the best stuff. I love edit. I love things that are edited like Rough that edits. so poorly. Yeah, and, you know Johnny was gonna take a left turn at the street, yeah. but then he decided to go right. <laughs> well, how about I do this? I say awesome. Yeah, and, just and then put that over here. <laughs> That's even better. <laughs> That's even better. Or say it with like a Russian accent. So it's like, it's like this is obviously <laughs> awesome. a film that's been I, I edited I for propaganda. What would, what would a Russian accent be for awesome? 
Osimski. Uh, you'd have to. I don't know. You'd have to go super, super stereotypical. I kind of wanted to go Austrian. Awesome. Yeah, like oh no, this is it's awesome. Awesome. Yeah. This is awesome. And then when they hear, it, they be like, <laughs> "Daddy, he talks just like you." He says uh, awesome the same way you great. do. So a lot has happened since we were last together. Yes. I have started an additional job. It would technically be considered my new full-time job, which if you saw my last update, I commented on that. But right. he and I have not been together uh, since then. And it is a pretty steep learning curve. Right. Um, and I think the craziest part is, so the job that I'm going to mainly every day is two hours away, one way. Wow. And I think that they're so excited to have me as part of the team so that they don't have to go out there every, every day. It's it's a really, really nice place to be if you live there. Yeah. It's terrible to get there. To drive there. It's awful. It's right. really, really horrible. I mean, I, I'm filling up the truck every two days. It's about 100 bucks to fill it up. It's awful. It's really, really bad. Half of my day, if I did an eight-hour day, half of it would be driving. Do they cover your fuel at all? So right now I'm reimbursed for it. So yes, they do. But yeah. I still have to, you know. Come out of pocket for it first. first. Yeah. yeah. And that can be steep when you're co- popping off oh, $300 a, a week. A week. Yep. Yeah. And still waiting on the first paycheck to hit. Yeah. Which that's tough. Yeah. So, so far I've So do you submit them. your hours? <laughs> do you submit your miles and all that stuff? No. No, because they give me the vehicle. They did oh. give me the vehicle. Oh, so they pay, they just turn in receipts and they reimburse you yeah, for your for gas. gas. Yeah. And then does that happen at the same time as you turn in for your paycheck, your hours for your paycheck? No. So I don't do hourly. I'm salary. salary. Um, and we're paid twice a month. So I came in on the 16th. So you had to wait. And the, the pay, first period pay period ends. I don't have to wait a full pay period, thankfully. But so wait. I'll get paid tomorrow. Yeah. But I haven't been paid since the 16th. Yeah, because you had to go three weeks. Because you had went two weeks for half of the month for your pay period and then a week for payroll processing. Yeah. Roughly. Three three days after the pay period. Because what's ends. today? Is the first? First. Oh, maybe, three days. Maybe it's the third. You get paid three days maybe after your pay period closes? Yeah. That's awesome. How many people are at your company? Not many. Oh, okay. That must be why. Yeah. Because at our place, it's like... Oh, it's a full week after. Well, you pay, I know that. Your pay period Payroll ends. is processed three right. days mm-hmm. after the end of the pay period. But then they have to send all that over to mm-hmm. the bank, and the bank has to cut all your checks and put it in your direct deposit and all that kind of yeah. stuff. That I'm familiar with. Yeah. And I am familiar with the traditional, you work, if you come in in the middle of a pay period, you get paid for half of that on the first pay period. Or if you come in at the beginning of a pay period, sometimes you can get screwed and miss out on the first, it can be really rough. Right. I know that. Um, but thankfully, I got confirmation. Supposed to be paid coming up. We'll see. So when do they pay you for the gas back? When? How do you put that That's in? weekly. Okay. So I just submit that on the app and then it comes out. Oh, they, good. They pay that. Do they pay They pay that direct back deposit. to you? Direct okay, deposit. Cool, yeah. cool. Yeah. And you don't get paid taxes, right? It's just direct no, reimbursement. Just direct reimbursement. Word. Yeah. That's awesome. That's, That's something. Awesome. That That's eases awesome. it, but still coming off of that 300 a, a week. Oh, it's tough. Yeah. Yeah. It's tough. And and so in addition to the long drive, they don't want to go out there. So a lot of times I'm out there by myself. Yeah. And I'm on a job that I don't know anything. Right. But I'm kind of the point person. What's going on I'm out a project there? manager. So the house we're working on right now is a container home. So it's a house. It's a house. And it's a house. When you say container home, you mean houses shipping that are container. shipping containers. Shipping okay. container. Okay. So, so it's this three... is like a baller company. Then if they're turning shipping containers into houses, yeah, yeah, it's it's right. It's like pretty fancy. It's stuff you see a reel on. Exactly, YouTube about, exactly. Right? Yeah, okay. yeah. And, and <clears throat> the guy who, <clears throat> excuse me, is, is getting the house done. He says it's already the talk of the town. Everybody's already coming up and trying to talk to him, get all this information about it. He said he told my boss. He says if you want to put a sign out front, I've got tons of people here who would be interested. And he's like. I'm not putting a sign out there because I don't want to drive back out there to do more of these things. <laughs> but he can just build that in and do his cost. It's still a hassle to come out there. If I he mean, was smart, what he would do is the first shipping container he came out for all the jobs, he came out and dropped his 
little house shipping container off on the property he's working on and just stay out there a little while. Because it's a shipping container house, he could just ship that thing to his next job. Yeah. Put a couple of those on the property for his whole crew. They stay there and just bust the shipping container house, house out. But we've got five. Okay, so we've got five different lots that we're working on right now. Okay. In Nashville, all around. And are right. they all shipping container houses? No. Okay. No. So this is just a special order thing. This, this one's just did. a special order one. Okay. Basically, to show that we can do this. Okay. We've got several other renovations that we're doing. We're getting ready to break ground on a seven-unit townhome, townhome okay. off of uh, Gallatin Pike. Building it from scratch? From scratch. Okay. So, big stuff. We also are doing uh, what are called piles, which is basically piers, but you just screw these huge metal tubes into the ground, and that's going to be the foundation. So they link together to become the foundation for the home. That's what we've got this uh, container home sitting on, or these piles. But that's because you can do that because the container home has a solid floor in it already. And they're not that wide. So it's just basically they're just legs that are drilled into the ground, right? Yeah, but we can do it on any structure. So you oh. would just lay like the green plate across those. I think all of us know what a green plate is. Did you? See, I, I just now found did. out what that is. I okay. wanted to throw well, out You said something. it like we have all <laughs> known and you just found out. That's how you said it. Like you just like, boop, it's out there. And like I just said it. You're like I, we all know what it means. I'm just the first one to say it. That's how you said it. <laughs> I intentionally wanted to throw out one term that I would know from my time here at this new job. Yeah. That would make me sound knowledgeable. And that was it. <laughs> it made you sound haughty. It didn't make you sound knowledgeable. It made you sound like you're showing off. It's, it's like talking I to can't a even, TV. Or, I can't even tell you what it is, though. I mean, I do know. It, it, so it's basically the foundation, the first layer before like your subfloor and everything would go on top okay. of that. The green plate, the reason it's called green plate is it's basically the wood. That's What color is it? Treated. Okay. Can you guess? Green. It's green. That's why it's called the green plate. But is this wood? Is it it's pressed wood. wood? Is it boards? No, it's boards. Okay. Is it all one piece, pre-built, pre-fabricated? No. no. You you. It's basically a. I guess what I'm getting six, at is two by say, six. I think. I guess what I'm getting at. And then there's 16 feet. Is you say you got these piles and they're basically poles, right? That you screwed into the ground, right? Where does that green board hook to? It just lays on top of the pile. You drill it in it. Into the pile. Mm -hmm. And then that becomes... I say that for sure. I don't know for sure. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen them. But I've been told that you can do it. Right. That's what it would make. I mean, that would make sense to me. And then that's what I do. Those, those beams that you put the green board becomes the beams of your house? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The green plate. <laughs> the green plate. They're called the green beams. <laughs> the green the beams. Green, hey, on your plate, put the green you beams. Put your green beams on your plate. <laughs> put your green beams on your plate. <laughs> Green plate. Yeah. So it, the fact that it's so far away and I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm a project manager. No. So the people there are looking to me to tell them what to do. I don't have cell service out there. So I can't say, let me find out and text the guy who's training me. I have to get in the truck and drive down the road about 10 minutes so I can get a signal to ask a question and then come back if I've got the answer. Really? Yeah. How many miles is it? There? Yeah. 100 miles. Oh, man. That's horrible. Because at Costco, they have these walkie-talkies that have a 30-mile Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some of those. But I it wouldn't help. I want some of them, too. But what if you were in North Carolina right now and you had those walkie-talkies? You'd want them. Because there's no cell service. None. And you had fortunately left one with your friend Buford down the mountain where strangely it didn't flood down the mountain, it flooded up in the mountain. So, huh. you've heard about why? Don't tell me about quartz and about um, lithium mines. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, I did hear because my wife is in the know and she told me about it, and then I saw some stuff about it later. But it is pretty interesting. It is very interesting. There's a little TikTok thing that's going around right now where the guy said, "Oh, I did some digging and it's." Yeah. Um, lithium, lithium mines mm -hmm. and he's like oh they were getting pushed back on the approval for the permit and then all of a sudden it's neck deep flooding now it's up gone. in the mountains yep 
like up in the mountains. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Where you used to run for, you used to run for the You mountains. run from floods, floods up, up into the mountains. Yeah. But I'm sure that's what the people in Noah's time thought too. Yeah, but everything flooded then. That's true. It's everything. not like at the bottom of the hill, everybody's fine. All I'm saying is lower it's, elevation. All I'm saying is you can't say it never floods in the mountains. You can say it's rare. But yeah. You can't say it's never happened before. That's true. Because it's happened at least one time. That's true. Wrong thing. <laughs> now two times. <laughs> now two now times. Now twice. I think my battery might be going down. Am I still lit? Mm-mm. Oh my gosh. Mine's going out too. This is the first time I use This looks these like the a, a swag battery. Maybe oh, we, we should charge go charge them. Yep. Okay, I'm going to charge them. I'll have to charge them. But anyways, they're cool little ring lights, everybody. Look. Mm -hmm. You clip it. You're supposed to clip it to your phone so that whenever you're talking, you can look beautiful. Or <laughs> whatever. How do you... you how do, I guess it, it wouldn't fit on the phone, would it? Yeah, like this. When you're no way. Your, yeah, when you're doing your self picture. When you're doing your... That's going to cover up your... Is no, it there's not, my camera oh, nice. hole right look there. That. That's what the big gaping hole is for. So you'd be like, boom. Yeah, I look good. I know I do. What's up? Like that. I am floored right now. Why? I That's crazy. That. My word. Right. I, I, yeah, I can't even complain about this because we're doing a YouTube video. We're doing a YouTube video. But how I was going to say, how jacked up is it that we are so obsessed with making sure that we can look good at all times and have the production capacity with the tools and equipment that we have to always look like we are on stage? And here we are in this. It's like we have we have access to all the tools to buy into the fakeness of the world. Yes. That's yes. what I would say. Is that you can be you get to participate even if symbolically in the fakeness of the world. With our little yeah. fake ring lights and all that stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We can be like little mini podcasters and like, I'm an influencer. Have I influenced you? I'm today? a content creator. Please go buy this thing. Scan this <laughs> UPC code or whatever, you know. Go to this company. Check out the link. It's in my bio. It's in my bio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Click on this for the shop thing. Yeah. Um, what's the what's the thing that they earns commission on this video at the bottom uh, on you on uh, TikTok? I don't know. I don't yeah. know on TikTok. I know. I'm not a TikToker. Now I see. Now some you TikTok have videos. you have been on TikTok. Did you know that? I'm. Have I? Yeah. Like I've been viewed on TikTok. Yeah. Oh, I have. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. I put these videos on TikTok as well, and so you're on, you, you're on TikTok. What did I say that first night? What did I say that first night? I'm gonna be famous. famous. I told you. That's it. And now I am. People just, know you on TikTok now. Just I don't know. Know me is such a strong <laughs> word. <laughs> Does anybody they really know, know anybody? I don't know. And can you really can know you really me? Know somebody? Oh, spiders at me coming again. Look at that. Those flying spiders again. But now we. Can. A, I don't think it. No, it's not a spider. It would look like a spider, but it was flying. <laughs> I killed a couple of them on your chair before Did we you? got yeah. That makes me feel so comfortable. Yeah. I feel better than if you said there I saw a couple on your chair earlier. <laughs> I didn't like, do anything with saying them. Saying that you killed them? I was like, that's okay. I'm cool. <laughs> Cruel and unusual. I whatever, didn't do but, anything with yeah. them. They're still there. But um, there's another one right there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just killed a spider. It's not that funny. I'm sorry about this environment. I love it. The spiders. Listen, this is the like we're trying to do this show for men and stuff, right? Yeah. This about as manly as you can get on a weekly basis without us doing this in a tent in the woods where we have to explain where we got the power for the lights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Um, we're out in the barn, bro, <laughs> with the tools and stuff. <laughs> this we this is a backdrop. This was put up for decoration so that it set it looks um, cigar barry and stuff. You know, it's like just a comfortable place. But we're really in here next to like sprayers and yeah, I've got my tool, tool chest. I got my toolbox right there. Yeah, and saws and um, mechanical sledgehammers. Yeah, like mowers. We're, we're roughing it. There's no temperature control or air. No, there's a new roof. There is a new roof, and you can tell on the ground because the remnants of the old roof kind of got pushed through in the process. Right? Yeah, yeah. But it held. I mean, that's the thing that I was I was nervous for them. Honestly, when they were up there, I was like, I really hope that thing doesn't fall down. <laughs> They're up there. Well, you had the green plate already in place, didn't you? No. I don't think we have a green plate in here. <laughs> I was just throwing around our construction <laughs> word. I was just throwing around the construction word that we learned today. Yeah. I did get a call from my boss at 
uh, the Don't lube and tire technician. Yeah. No, I wasn't going to say it. Yeah. My, uh, my other job that pays me, um, my DOT is going to expire in two weeks. He's like, hey, just want to let you know if you want to still keep working, you got to get that taken care of. I was like, I thought these things lasted two years. He says, they do. I don't know why yours is only one year. Do you take medication? No. <laughs> I guess it was because I was so old. They're like, you got to do this every year. What's We're... a DOT? So that's what uh, like the Department of Transportation. Yeah, yeah. You have to go do an actual physical? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because I'm driving a DOT vehicle, I have to actually be checked out. What is it? Like... You're driving a Department of Transportation vehicle, like for the state? Yeah, it's T dot. I've got a oh. T dot number on my truck, not on my new job, but on my old job. On your old job, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I didn't know that. I thought that you were just working for like a private company. I am, but because of the type of work that we do, it's like you have a token, like a taxi cab would in New York, where you're allowed to do that business. Pretty much. Okay, and so yeah. you're so they can like, for instance, if you are driving a T dot vehicle, and you are not licensed, dude. You're gonna have to keep this job for a long time because that's the more interesting job to talk about. Mm -hmm. Like we have the most random things to talk about from that job. I know. I don't do anything at the other job yet. I drive. That's what I do. Yeah. So you, what have you got to go do? Like type <laughs> physical or like turn and cough. There he is. Turn it off. See if you can see this thing down the down the aisle. Right. See if you can squat and stand up without like groaning. That honestly, I, that was the thing I was most concerned about whenever I first went because of how out of shape I was. Yeah. My knees give out. So I I was like, oh gosh, he's gonna tell me to squat and I got to stand up and I hope that my knee does not collapse on me. And it didn't. I you, made it. Did you have to wear shorts or you wore a brace underneath it? No, no brace. You don't have to wear shorts. But there's all kinds of stuff you can do. That there's what I mean. Because there's tons of people, dudes that are way further out of shape than you, bro. Yeah, that but, hat, that hold those jobs. No, you know I know saying? that. I, oh well, yeah, I worked with. I work with some of them. <laughs> You're like I worked with all of them. <laughs> um, but my knees still still give me problems if I don't get up a specific way. And I wear oh. knee pads. I'm the only guy who wears knee pads. And I, I don't I, think you're the only guy that wears knee pads, but that's a different story. <laughs> well, the, I'm talking about at the job. <laughs> yeah. So I was thinking about hockey players. Right. Oh, no, at this Baseball job. Players. What were y'all thinking when I said okay, that? Okay, so as a mechanic, most of the time, in my experience, my limited experience, if you wear knee pads, the other guys are going to give you Sissy a hard time. boy. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing about that, though. I don't freaking care. Yeah, I, I don't put care. down I, that stuff on the side of the wall with that trim that you put down the roller trim mm -hmm. in commercial buildings. So you have to, you know what I'm talking about, the rubber? Nope. The little rubber kick plate on the 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 bottom oh, yeah, the baseboard, yeah, 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 yeah. but it's yeah, rubber like in your yes. school and stuff. Yeah, I used to put that stuff down, bro. Yeah, and I wore knee pads with yep. cushions in them too. Yep. I'm not gonna Absolutely. lie. Now there are other dudes that gave me so much grief about it. I was like, I do not. If I could get a I trolley, if I could get it, if they had had those cushion trolleys that you could sit on that yeah. had the wheels on them, oh, I would have yeah. had one of those bad boys yeah. rolling around, just scooting around, just doing scooting my around. job and making fun of everybody else who's groaning and complaining. I look like Lieutenant yep. Dan, bro. Yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, Lieutenant Dan. Dan, are you so good at putting all that baseball, <laughs> Lieutenant Dan? Lieutenant <laughs> Dan. Yeah, I I wanted to toughen up my knees when I first started, right? I didn't have them. I was like, I'm going to get calluses on my knees. I'm going to be okay. I'll just toughen them up, right? It got so bad whenever I would get in bed at night. It would hurt well, to put so my knee. Well, there's so much more to your knee, bro, than just oh. the skin on the outside. Yeah, no, it's all the it cartilage, up. the yeah. tendons, and, and that cap muscle, moves around, it, and how it. it's bent and stretched for a long time. Yeah, you know when your legs bent like that. Yep, that's it. And yeah, and plus, like we talked about earlier, you're like five inches taller than I am. So you're a tall dude. What are you like six, six seven, three. six I'm, three? <laughs> not so six. You're only seven. like an inch six three. Yeah, I'm just six three. Isn't that weird? Because to me, you look so look, big. Do I look giant to you? And like you look at me. You look about my height. Really? Yeah. My perspective is skewed. You know, it's funny. My brother, he's 6'2", and he says the same thing. Really? And if I meet somebody who's 6'4", I know exactly what you're talking about. Because I'm so used to looking down, down at everybody. You, so that's such when a... When it's right here, it's like, smidge, whoa, Even you're if it's tall. a smidge yeah. up, it's like, whoa, that's a, such a delta from yep. where I'm normally looking. Yeah. 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 Okay, that makes sense. I can see that. Yeah. 
Because you get so used to so it. So used to yeah. it. And it's not even that like, oh, I'm looking down on you. It's just, no, that's where my eyes naturally go because that's where most people are. I'm looking down on you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've been looked down on for wearing knee pads. <laughs> so I, it's, only, on it's only fair that when I stand up, I get to look down at them. But when you're doing yeah. that job, people are looking down on you mm-hmm. with or without the mm-hmm. knee pads because you're where you are. Yeah. Changing a tire. Yeah. They really gave me a hard time whenever I commented on the fact that I knew, I know you guys are calling, you know, me out for wearing the knee pads. They're like, no, Chris, it's not just the knee pads, it's the tiara with it. So, <laughs> yeah, your headband. Yeah. They just called me that. Cinderella from that moment on. <laughs> yep. I bet they were tripping on you at first, going like, man. Oh my gosh, this, this guy dude. shows up with a freaking Prius. He's got the tiara. He's wearing knee pads. He doesn't know anything. Oh, what do we get? He barely knows what a tire is. Yeah. He knows yeah. his Prius came with four <laughs> tires, but we're about to teach him about what a tire really is. Right? He Yeah. He's never used an impact drill. Yeah. But now at your new job, actually, it's not an impact drill. It's just you have impact. to go and manage this, right? Project. Isn't that what it's just an impact? No, I think it's called an impact. Well, it depends. I think there is a there's an impact. Drill, there's a hammer an drill. Gun. Yeah, there may be an impact drill, but if you're talking about the thing that takes lug nuts off, that's an impact gun. Is what I've always just said. yeah, gun or an impact. Maybe that's probably in the no. That's how you see. Say that's it. what it is. I don't. It, I said drill. Yeah, they probably gave you, and they gave me such a hard time. But I'm like, what? Yeah. It's all about the tools. Because it's shaped like a drill. It, everything about it was the same. And you're like, looks like a duck, walks like a walks duck. Walks like a duck, yeah. It's probably a duck. Yeah, and it was not. Yeah, I think they're <laughs> called impact guns there. It's just an impact. Yeah. They don't even say the gun part. It's just right. an impact. Right. And they made sure but like to Even tell drills, me. I think, are called drill guns because of the shape is like a gun. Right. I, I want to say that that's true like yeah. back in the original days. Well, and they'll say, did you... Use the gun or use the one inch, and usually they'll just say the half inch, the three eighths, or the you know, the or the inch. twelve, if it was your world. Yeah, yeah, the it's twelve. For your love of metrics. Well, because it, 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 is a one inch twelve. No, well, it's no. It didn't line up. Well, doesn't. How no, many I'm centimeters? Saying, How many centimeters? Who knows? I, you know. I was just a callback because you were saying all of these <laughs> empirical sizes and we, before we talked about how much you hate them. So I was like, or the 12. Oh, speaking of, I'll tell you what, stupidity in sizes. Okay. So I have to go to Home Depot today mm-hmm. and I'm supposed to get something called OSB. Do you know what that is? Yeah. Like soundboard or is that the press board? Press board. Yeah. Shredded and all that kind of stuff, yeah, right? Yeah. I had no idea what it was. I didn't even ask him what it stood for. I looked it up. It's comparable to plywood, but it's supposed to be better. I don't know. Anyways, so he says get half inch, get three half inch OSB. Okay. They don't have half inch. They've got a seven sixteenth. You guys can do math. Seven sixteenth is not one half. Right. Eight sixteenths would be one half. Right. So I said, they don't have half inch. Is 7 sixteenths okay? He goes, that's the same thing. So, so when you measured it to see that it was 7 sixteenths. I didn't measure it. It, it was on it's the written placard. On, it's written on it. Yeah. 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 It's the yeah. thickness of it. Yeah. I So they don't sell half inch? They do, but he said, the only reason I know they do is because I looked it up online. Half inch OSB. Yeah. Because I wasn't seeing it anywhere in there. And they have them. But they didn't have it there. But he's saying that one sixteenth of an inch isn't a big enough deal for you to trip on. So did he explain why they, or did you venture to ask anybody or research why they have half inch and seven sixteenths? No, because I didn't even get the board. I couldn't get it. So they didn't have either kind. No, it was another technical difficulty. Uh, Their system wasn't running the card through. So uh, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <clears throat> so he had to drive two hours to get there. <laughs> he bought the material. That sucks. That sucks. I mean, he had to do some other things down there too. Yeah, but and so you're basically the project manager. Your job is to manage all the stuff. So when people come to you, they or have a problem, they come to you with the problem, and then you na- navigate that between either a contractor or a your boss who. Can so it's all the contractors. What we have. Yeah. Um, 
and essentially we've got an app that shows us what's supposed to be done. I'm supposed to take pictures. Crap, I'm supposed to upload those pictures. I took them, but I didn't upload them for my uh, daily log. Supposed to log it, say what's happening, look and see if there's anything coming the next day that needs to be, uh, you know, everybody needs to be made aware of. Before I go there, I've got to know what the plan is for today. So I show up, make sure it's being done, and then that's it. But if problems arise, questions arise, we need material, I'm the one who goes gets it. Okay. Do you love it? Is it easier than cracking tires all day? So it's easier than that. It's not a matter of... The, the thing that I don't like is that I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't have somebody there with me to tell me what to do. Right. Or what they're doing and why they're doing it. Part of it is because of this location. Once this location is done, we'll all be in Nashville... And it will be easier to. Do you go think around. you'll be at somebody else's job site so you can see them? Are there other versions? Of there's you another. At other there's place? another project manager in the company who is telling me what to do. And okay, he, and so you're so, just learning from him. Learning from him. So, but so by you calling him and asking him, "Hey, what am I supposed to be doing?" and having these feelings like, "I wish I knew what I was doing," like, but you learn it each time, right? Like, so situations arise and you're figuring out. Like the guy tells you what to do, and you're like, "Okay, next time I'll know to do that thing." Kind of. Yeah. It's also challenging, again, not having cell service. Yeah. Because it's a 10-minute drive to go ask a question. And then if there's a follow-up question to that, ugh, and, I, and I will of, often say, okay, so you told me this. What questions will I get asked that I need to have answered to try and head some of that off? Right. So it's just, it's... And how do they react when you say that kind of he, stuff? They love it. They love right. the fact that I am asking questions. They, they know... You know, that I don't know anything. Well, then um, you're all set, dude. I'm all set. I don't it's, think you could be in a better position than to be at a place where you're like, I don't know what I'm doing, but these people are paying me and I'm getting to do this and <laughs> learn it. Like, that is like the <laughs> ideal job. And you're not on... It you're is. Not, you're and not, I'm not straining physically. I'm not on the side of the road. I'm not having to be on call through the night. You're not having to intern... And learn no, it for a for year free. for free yeah. or for half pay or any of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. So that's pretty incredible. Um, super blessed opportunity, I think. It, and so it, yes. do you when you have to drive the two hours there, how long do you work there? Eight hours and then you drive two hours back. So are you have no, a twelve hour a day? No, I'm doing about a ten hour day. Okay. That's man. It's you not know. bad. It's not bad. It it's is really what it not. is. It man. is what it is. You know, what it saying? is what it is. When I used to work in Boston, dude, I had to drive two hours to work every day too, and two hours home. Yeah, most and of it was traffic did, though. Did, yeah, but an hour of it was still a solid drive. And then when I started living down the Cape, man, from Boston, that's like a three-hour drive every single yeah. day. You yeah, yeah. I'm saying, and commute time. I mean, I understand that. I. It's really not that bad. And you listen to podcasts. You get to yep. listen to books and yep. stuff. Yep. I never get to listen to that stuff because my commute is from the foot of my bed to my desk six feet away oh yeah last last week uh vivek ramaswamy's new book came out truths mm -hmm. i got it the day it came out and i finished it by the next day did you love it i liked it yeah i liked it i liked his stuff though i i i don't know if you saw my truth hat from some earlier podcasts i supported him in order to get the truth hat because i thought it was awesome that it was just a truth hat it just says truth on it right which, whether or not you like him, how can you say you don't like the truth? Yeah. Is kind of my thoughts on that one. Uh, but I liked him. I thought he was very, um, I thought he was unique in the field um, of candidates. And this was before he bowed out, obviously, to support Trump and everything. But I, I liked that he had key truths that um, people weren't stating. It's facts. Right. Well, it's great to be back um, and do get the podcast, try to get it back it, online. Yes. I, I've missed hanging out with you. It, in addition, like you, if you saw my video where uh, I said it's been a while, but we're coming back. Yeah. We haven't seen each other. We haven't. And that's so been really tough. Yeah. Um, it's funny. My Even my kids are like, are we going to go over and see Mr. Brian? Tonight? Right. So... Uh, it's good to have you all back. It's good to be back here in the barn with the flying spiders and all. Thanks, Thanks to for our, our fans. fans. For the fans. 
<laughs> and if you are not subscribed to the channel yet, we would greatly appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. Make sure you hit that notification bell. If you like the content, give us a thumbs up. Put something down in the comment section. Share it on social media. And we will see you next time when we can share an idea, share a cigar, and change, change the world. The world.